This is a video response to the video, A Universe from Nothing. The person who's giving the lecture in the video, he's a well-renowned physicist. I'm not exactly sure at his specific field, whether it's astrophysicist or otherwise. But anyhow, the main point of his argument is that the universe, in fact, came from nothing. The problem is that he perverts the definition of the word nothing in order to prove his point. Absolutely nothing would not only be, for example, let's take this as a space. Absolutely nothing would not only be space that is devoid of matter and energy, uh, quarks, electrons, protons, absolutely everything, but also absolutely nothing would not even be space itself. That is absolutely nothing. And so when he says the universe is nothing, this is the image that people get. And this is what he intends to be his argument but that's not true. That's absolutely not true in the realm of science. No one respected in the science field believes that. There is a thing called the law of conservation of uh, matter, or mass, and the law of conservation of energy. And that is that nothing is created or destroyed. Things just transfer or move around. And in that, the universe didn't come from nothing. Things, The same stuff has always been in the universe. It's just been in a different state, in a different form. So the universe didn't in fact come from nothing, it just came from something else. That's the truth, that's what scientists believe. Not from nothing. Nothing, again, would be absolutely devoid of anything, even space itself. And he also uses that in an attempt to disprove uh, religion as well. He says, well since the universe came from nothing, that it just arose out of its own uh, impetuousness, that there's no need for a creator. But that's absolutely false. Because, because there's still no proof of the, the stuff that we have in the universe. No one knows where it initially came from. No one in the whole world. No physicist, no one. The energy that has always been around, um, the quarks and electrons and neutrinos and uh, just there's, there's things in the universe, again, that have always been there. As the law of conservation energy and mass state, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's just believed that this stuff has just always been here. But if it's not always been here, for one, then the universe didn't come from nothing, first of all. And second of all, we just assume that it always has, always has been here. So, to state that, well, there's not a creator because, well, it seems the universe just expanded by itself. Everything that happens in the universe seems to happen by itself. You don't know what goes beyond, on behind the scenes at all. There is absolutely no proof of that whatsoever. His whole video is speculation. And even worse, he really, he perverts the, the usage of the word nothing. The universe did not come from nothing. There has always been something there. Always been something there. That is scientific fact. It's just, I mean, it, it, it just amazes me that he attempts to pervert that. The universe did not come from an absolute uh, void of space and energy and everything else. There's always been something and that's the basis of his, all, his whole argument throughout the whole video. And he even... Uh, now I heard he's going to even write a book about it, and it's false. It's just absolutely false.